Yo, what's up guys, Mr. Pangus here, and this is your daily news of Ark Knights. So, earlier today we had maintenance in Ark Knights. Make sure to log in and grab your 200 or random maintenance compensations. It will expire in two days. So, just be sure to collect that real quick, just like that. Boom. Next up, we have Chance Office in the furniture store. It will end in seven days. So, if you haven't bought it yet, do keep in mind that you will need 4,285. 4, so, again, 4,285 furniture parts in order to buy all these pieces. And I just bought it myself a few minutes ago. And just to show you what it looks like, I'm going to move into the base here. I haven't set it up yet. I'll, I'll do it afterwards. But let's just see real quick how it looks. So we're going to decoration mode, go into the theme, go to Chen's office, and then we can do fast setup. So this is how it looks like, and you get 4250 ambience from it. Then you can add a few more pieces in there, and you should be able to have the maximum of 5000. So, ladies and gentlemen, that is Chen's office. Buy yourself a new one today. All right. Next up on the official Arknights Twitter, we have some more lore about Manticore. It says the following: Much of Manticore's history is unknown. It is known that prior to her employment at Rhodes Island, she had engaged in the removal of others. She has excellent stealth, infiltration, and surprise attack skills, and you can see her different animations in the GIF there. Next up. We have a notice about the maintenance that completed earlier and we also have an announcement for a login event here. Dear doctor, you can log in and sign to claim your daily rewards be between March the 19th and April 1st. And uh, if we go over to uh, a Reddit post here by Reddit user Ultradive, he uh, went through the trouble to translate uh, the uh, event here, so we have the seven-day login, and uh, can get the following. On the first day, we get a, we get two sanity potions. Day two, three thousand, thirty thousand, thirty k LMD. Day three, five Oriron or Iron Cluster and three hundred Orundum. Day four, thirty battle records, probably the yellow ones. Day five, two Originite Prime. Day 6, 5 recruitment permits and 20 pure gold. And finally, day 7, 1 headhunting permit and 1 chip catalyst. Those are really, really valuable indeed. So make sure to log in from the 19th onwards and get your freebies. Next up, we got the next standard banner. It apparently will feature. Six Star Angelina and Silver Ash, which is uh, perfect for me. I do need my Silver Ash. I tried getting him on uh, his first banner. I got Siege instead. I'm gonna try this time once again. Uh, I do have Angelina, but if I get a dupe, uh, I'm fine. Angelina is a really good operator. And then you have a Five Star Manticore, Zima, and Cliffheart. Myself, I have uh, both Zima and Cliffcar, Cliffheart, but I do not have a Manticore, so I would love getting myself a Manticore as well. Overall, uh, this is, I would say this is a pretty good banner. Uh, maybe Cliffheart, because she should be fairly easily to attain. She was um, free to get. I'm not sure if you can still get her for free. I, I, I don't uh, remember if she was from the pre-registration or not, but a lot of people already have her, so uh, they might not want her and uh, yeah. Uh, the others are really good and uh, Kusuke Kun here also tells us that uh, exchange will be Angelina and Zima. So for the gold certificate shop, if you are interested in buying, that's going to be Angelina and Zima. Next up we got from uh, Reddit user Bakaru the Obsidian Festival Farming Guide. So the Obsidian Festival is going to be the next big event in Arknights. And uh, Mr. Bakaru here, 
he went through and he did all the math and he's gonna show us here the, the uh, quick guide on what you need to do to complete this event. So you have these levels here, you get tickets, looks like one ticket per two sanity and you need that amount of free tickets. Oh, you get the 2280 free tickets. Then you also have uh, other levels that gives you four coins per ticket and uh, you get some more free coins there and then you need the coins to do lottery rolls. And then you have uh, the red part, which is the important part. It says you only need to farm 43, 30 coins or 2,165 sanity over three weeks. So that means you will need to spend 103 sanity per day in order to complete that one. And then you also need uh, those tokens. And in the red there, it says you only need to farm 1,480 tokens or 740 sanity over three weeks, which means 36 sanity per day. So in total, you will need to spend 139 sanity in order to get everything you need during the course over, of the th over the three weeks. Uh, should you use the remaining sanity on the lottery? Yes, but don't overdo it. One roll in the sixth unlimited lottery costs 10 sanity and rewards 28.5 sanity's worth. So that's a 2.85 um, uh, sanity ratio which is really really good you're not gonna find uh, uh, that good of odds anywhere on uh, anywhere on the uh, normal maps most of that worth comes from manganese and sugar and he tells he tells us then exercise moderation just like when we farmed gt for loxy colds slash grindstone and, and uh, if you haven't been there for that event let me tell you Everyone super farmed those Loxy Calls and Grindstones and with that 2.85 ratio uh, It definitely looks like it's going to be a really really good time to grind these items uh, Manganese and sugar. I do need them myself So I will most likely be farming those and uh, I will advise you to do as well but we will uh, get more information as time progresses and I uh, I will let you know guys if anything changes but this so far looks really really solid okay and next up we got more information on the event itself so this is heart of fire blue part one so there's gonna be two parts this is from the moon cell wiki this is based off of the um, Chinese server so they had it on uh, August of 2019 we can see here the rewards for each level so you're gonna get originite prime you're also gonna get some furnitures you can see the different tickets and uh, other event items there we got uh, the coins more originite prime this is the uh, the lottery right here so you uh, use your coins on this slot machines here and then you have different pools and uh, this is what you can get here. There's a new character as well, Kalon, that we'll be able to get. Um, she... Uh, I, I don't remember right now, but I do know that she is pretty good in the base. She has, uh, I think, 80% for elite material, so she's good in the workshop. I don't remember uh, how useful she is as a operator. We'll, uh, we'll check her out some other time. Then we have uh, the part one here. Get the rewards here. Then it looks like we have uh, a skin for Anzel. Then we have more uh, info here on the drops. And then there's also a skin for Castle and a skin for Matterhorn. And it looks like you might be able to get these skins from uh, the lottery itself, which is really, really generous. Now, same thing, the Heart of Fire Blue Part 1 event right here as well. This is from uh, the official newsletter of Ark Knights from, uh, from the Chinese server. So once again, we have the event, we have the lottery here, we have Part 1 Anzel skin. 
then it uh, looks like we're gonna be getting uh, this is Schwartz banner sometime later there's also Susuro there another character that I don't know we got uh, uh, what is this not, not exactly sure what this is Ah, it looks like there's some skins here yeah yeah so we got the Skyfire shining and uh, who, who is that I can't really tell who that is but uh, let's move on we got the furniture here the limited furniture very nice and then we have part two we're gonna have a new banner with Heliger uh, six star Myrtle which is a four star vanguard that is highly recommended she is uh, one of the best character best vanguards even in the end game so we will definitely have fun with pulling her and then we got more skins here summer skins for Ifrit, Sora and Gumi Heliger uh, we got the skins here Matterhorn and Castle and that is it and finally we have um, a few helpful guides here a few helpful posts one by reddit user Thern he did the math we have here clue search the actual boost values so from what he's been told four five six star operators give an additional two four five percent and then elite one or two gives another eight and sixteen percent so if you do the math the actual speed boost of various operators is the following so this is something new for me as well so for instance I was using 12F and he has 25% then Hitano if you get her to E1 she's gonna have 45 40% so it's the uh, 25 plus the 732 and then the 8 from the elite one goes up to 40 then Shirayuki if you have her to E1 she, he is, she has 35 so that would be higher than 12F which I normally use so I could use Shirayuki instead of 12F to get it 10% extra however Shirayuki does have the 30% uh, factory bonus so you might want to use there is might want to use her there instead but this is good info to know if you don't use her in the factory you could use her in the clues instead you got courier Jessica Robe gets 35 at E1 Indra, Firewatch, Stina, Chen, Saya, Angelina, 28 at E1. So even she is better than uh, 12F. Interesting. And then we have four others as well and the newer characters. All right. Then we also have from Reddit user 2Die a complete factions and organization chart for all the characters in the game, including the ones from the Chinese server and just to give you a sneak peek here so as you can see you have Mia, Closure, Skyfire, you got pretty much everyone here Viscous, Anzal, Earth Spirit, Haze and I will give you the link down below to check it out for yourself and finally for the Play Store review of the day we have Edward Chong with a rating four star out of five he has the following to say good game not pay to win played for a few weeks so far and still good after about a two months i stopped playing still think it is a good game but after a while it gets a bit repetitive though the gacha is generous having high star units are actually not to your advantage because the cost to use them is too high so you end up focusing on grinding to level mid level characters for a long time Alright, yeah, so the uh, interesting thing about this game is uh, early game, actually the lower rated characters are better just because of uh, those costs. But as you get your um, characters leveled up, uh, the, the lower ones start falling behind and the higher rarity uh, ends up taking those spots. And his complaint was that it got a bit repetitive, which is interesting because this game you don't actually have to play it that much so I feel like it's hard for it to become repetitive since you don't you don't play it that much right so it's, yeah but anyway guys 
that is it for today. That was your daily news of Ark Knights. Make sure to subscribe and stay tuned for more Ark Knights content. Leave a comment below with your thoughts on these upcoming updates. And I shall see you in the next video. Have a good one and take care.